Hello everyone, it's Jillian and welcome to today's super exciting extreme slime makeover. I am so excited for you to see what slime I created today. So for today's slime makeover, I decided to do a rainbow theme. So to do that, I picked out six slimes that were kind of similar to the colors I was looking for and decided to give all of them a makeover, bring them back to life and just see what I could come up with. I've never done a rainbow themed slime makeover and this was definitely a big challenge there was lots of slimes here but these are the colors and slimes that I selected so let's jump into it so for the orange color I decided to use this slime from scented slime by Amy it was a beautiful pastel orange color and as you can see it's very thick it's I think their sleigh texture so it's very much like a butter slime lots of clay very thick and spreadable and I decided that this was going to be my orange slime so the first thing I did was place it in a bowl and take out the little charm and then this was still quite activated so I just decided to mix it with my hands and to soften it up I added some lotion now my goal with this rainbow slime was for all the slimes to have a similar texture and I knew this was going to be a challenge but I was going to try my best to go for a really soft slightly glossy texture of my slimes then I added some shaving foam and again mix this in with my hands I decided not to deactivate this slime because I wasn't going to be doing too much with it I knew that I was going to like it I kept the scent the same it was a very strong citrus scent and there was no way I was going to be able to change that that was also something that I was a little bit worried about is all these slimes had different scents and I didn't know how that would go mixed together but I just decided to go for it so here is the first slime For the purple slime I decided to use this one from Slime New York and I wasn't sure what the texture was going to be or the scent I couldn't remember from when I reviewed it so it was a surprise and it definitely was kind of an icy texture of slime and it had a strong lavender scent so already I was faced with two challenges because the previous slime was citrus scented and as you can see this is not like the texture that I wanted so the first thing I decided to do was deactivate it completely it was just going to be easier to make over and add all the ingredients and it's just easier to mix everything in when it's deactivated so I just went in with some glycerin and started mixing that in that's my favorite thing to use when I need to deactivate an overacted slime or when I'm doing slime makeovers so I just deactivated it and then I wanted this to be a brighter purple I really wanted every color in this rainbow slime to pop so I added some pink and blue food coloring that's because because I don't have a purple food coloring that I like. I've tried a few, but I just don't like any of them. So I always mix my own purple. So because this was a lavender scent, I wasn't really loving it. So I decided to go in with vanilla and I thought that that would kind of complement the lavender scent. It did mask it a little bit. I also went in with some lotion and this is honestly just to try and soften this slime as much as possible and to kind of get rid of that icy texture. Then I went in with some activator and reactivated the slime and it was definitely a very soft slime. It was probably my least favorite slime in the makeover. I definitely struggled with this one just because there wasn't much I could do with the texture. It was kind of stuck the way it was, but I was really happy with the bright purple color. Thank you. 
Now for the most difficult slime makeover from the video and I wish I hadn't chosen this green slime but I just love the color so much and this was definitely a challenge. So as you can see, it's a very crunchy, icy texture of slime. So the first thing I thought I would try is to scrape out that top separated layer and I thought that maybe there might be some glossy slime sitting at the bottom from where it had separated but no, the whole thing was kind of this crunchy texture so I decided to just kind of go with it and see if I could soften it up myself so I just put it in a bowl and broke my spoon as you can see this slime at this point I was just like oh my gosh why did I pick this one so here I am mixing it all together seeing what I'm working with there were also some little lime femo pieces in here but I picked those out once it was activated now this had a very strong lime scent so I decided to kind of mellow that out with this cucumber theme scent and that definitely worked. Now this is probably cheating but I just felt like this slime needed a bit of extra glue. I really wanted to have the same amount of slime in each color and this was a smaller slime so I just decided to add a touch of glue and then I made it a more vibrant green because it was a little bit dull after adding the glue and now I was like what am I going to do about this kind of unique texture. I need it to be softer and glossier. So I decided to add some conditioner just to try and diffuse that crunchiness. And then I went in with some baby oil as well. And I definitely think this helped make it stretchier and softer as well as the extra glue. I then went in with my activator and it started reactivating this slime. I accidentally overactivated it. I was a bit heavy handed with my activator. So I just added a touch of glycerin to bring it back to that perfect texture. And I actually really liked this slime it was a beautiful bright green and it was sizzly and crunchy but still nice and soft so I was really happy with it in the end Now for the blue slime, I decided to use this one from Archie Slime and this was I think a Tiffany & Co themed slime and as you can see it's completely melted so I was already really happy. These slimes are always the most easy to work with and as you can see it's so glossy and it's such a simple slime that I knew that this was going to be one of the easier ones. The first thing I did was mix everything back together to make sure that it was all the same consistency and then I picked out the little diamond charms that were hidden in there because I didn't need those any. Anymore. I decided to add a vanilla scent to this just because it had such a light scent and I wanted as many of the slimes to smell as similar as possible if that makes sense. So we have a few vanilla slimes. <laughs> so then I went in with some lotion just to make sure that it was as stretchy and soft as could be and I was so happy with the color so I decided to leave that as it was. I then went in with my activator and started reactivating this slime. This was definitely probably the easiest slime to make over in this video and I love the bubble pops it had and it was so soft and glossy and I was obsessed with this slime. <laughs> Now for the pink slime, I decided to use this slime from Slime Screwball, which was in a slime mystery box. So as you can see, the foam beads had floated to the top, which made my life so much easier. And it meant that I could easily scrape these out with a spoon. And it also meant that I was left with a really nice glossy slime sitting at the bottom. And as you can see, it's such a beautiful pink. I was so excited to use this slime. So then I added it to a bowl once I picked out all of those foam beads. And as you can see it's such a nice slime to work with perfectly deactivated and so simple I went in with some of that vanilla scent just because I was using vanilla a lot I feel like we're going for vanilla and fruit I know it's a bit odd but I couldn't help it then I added some conditioner to thicken it up a little bit and also I added some shaving foam just to make it a little bit fluffier and also to increase its volume I then decided to go in with a little bit more pink food coloring because I wasn't happy with how light it was. 
and like I said I wanted each color in this rainbow to pop so I added some pink food coloring and then I went in with my activator and this slime reactivated so easily and I was so happy with how this one turned out it was a beautiful bright pink scented like vanilla and definitely one of the easier ones to make over which makes me very happy Now it's time for the bright yellow and I decided to again use a scented slime by Amy Slime. So this was a very thick slay slime so it's very much like a butter slime as you can see there's a lot of clay that has separated and risen to the top so I knew that my main goal with this slime was to soften it I was really happy with the bright yellow color I thought it was so perfect for my rainbow and it reminded me of sunshine so the first thing I did was place it in a bowl and I decided to first try and mix it with a spatula but because it was so thick I just thought I would go in with some activator and reactivate it and then try and make it over I just thought that this would be the easiest because as you can see it just looks like a lot of clay and that was going to be really hard to work with so I first reactivated it and brought it back to I guess what it originally was I think I may have overactivated it a little bit because it was slightly tough so what I decided to do was to go in with a lot of of lotion so I would just add a few pumps of lotion at a time and mix it in and this definitely was a little bit difficult at the beginning it always feels like the lotion isn't going to combine with the slime but the more you work it the more it will soften and it actually turned into the most amazing soft butter slime and I was so happy with it it definitely was softer than it originally it was which was perfect and as you can see it's very soft and spreadable and a bright happy yellow So now we finally have our six slimes completely made over and ready for the final rainbow slime. This was definitely a bit of a journey, but we got there in the end and I'm really happy with how all the colors work together. So I wanted to do something a little bit different with this slime makeover and I really wanted this rainbow slime to kind of be a bit of a surprise. You'll see what I mean. So I took some model magic and started warming it up in my hands just so it would be easier to work with. I then placed it on top of some grease proof paper and here I'm also dusting some cornstarch just to make sure that it doesn't stick to anything because I really need this to be a perfect shape and I don't want it to get caught on anything. I then put some grease proof paper on top and used a rolling pin to roll it out as flat as possible and once I was happy with the thickness of it I just added some more cornstarch on top and this also brightened it up a lot and just made it a lot easier to handle next I took the slime container that I was going to be putting the actual slime in and I decided to use this as my cookie cutter so then I went in with some more cornstarch just making sure nothing's going to stick and I just cut out a little circle so as you can see this circle is going to fit perfectly on top of our slime it's just going to sit so nicely in the top of that container and I can't wait for you to see how it turns out it's so satisfying so I just popped this aside for now and then I took all six of my slimes and that same container which I cleaned up so it didn't have any cornstarch on it and then I just decided to kind of layer the slimes I was going to swirl them at first but I kind of get a bit nervous when I do that in case I swirl it too much and I lose some of the color so I just decided to kind of layer it and really be particular with the colors as you can see it's so pretty I love rainbow slimes so much they're always a lot more difficult to make but the end result is worth it now I popped in the little circle of clay and as you can see it fits so well it was very satisfying to place that in there and then I topped it off with some rainbow sprinkles so here are the six slimes before they were turned into one amazing rainbow slime and here is the end result I am so excited about this slime I just want to make more slimes like this it's so much fun to make the rainbow kind of pop once you push the clay in you'll see what I mean but it's very satisfying and so much fun
Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this slime makeover. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!